Hey Simleys, it's Delicacy here and welcome to a brand new build video. I know I've been doing a few little builds lately. I've just been in a bit of a building mood. I think it's because I've been kind of enjoying Christmas and New Year's and I think you kind of get into this you know, comfortable phase of just enjoying taking things a little bit more slowly than usual. So I've had a few days to kind of chill. I do apologize yesterday I didn't upload. Um, I like to upload daily usually, so sorry about that you guys. But this is a build today for a brand new Let's Play and I'll explain the, the brand new LP in a second because it's very exciting. I'm actually really looking forward to this. Um, but yeah, we are building a starter home using, well, that's mostly inspired for a cats and dogs LP part two. I know I did an LP and stopped it after three parts and a lot of you guys were left very confused. Um, but I will address why that was in just a second. First of all, I just want to explain the build. So this is a starter home and there are pieces from different packs, but um, I tried to use quite a bit of cats and dogs because this LP is obviously focused on that expansion pack and I want to celebrate that expansion pack in this starter build. In Brindleton Bay, if I'm not mistaken, I don't believe there were any starter homes for your Sims to move straight into. So I didn't mind that at all. I just thought, eh. I love building a, a good old starter home. So that's what we're doing today. And for my starter homes, because we are working with a budget, I'm, I've got two adult Sims starting in this home. So there's 22,000 simoleons. And my way to budget with that money is to furnish and build at the same time. So I'll actually lay out furniture as I build the walls. And that's how I do a cheaper budget home, just so I can keep an eye on the budget. Uh, and not like make the space bigger than it needs to be and I can just use the amount of walls to an absolute minimum or keep it to an absolute minimum so yeah that's what that's what we're doing and this house two guys are going to live in it I'm not going to explain their characters just yet but uh yeah two guys and I just wanted this home to have a bit of a rustic feel I wanted to I wanted it to feel like a first home so nothing too glamorous or over the top about it obviously we're on a budget as well so we had to keep that in mind uh one of them is a writer one is an aspiring vet and yeah that's pretty much it for about the house but I definitely wanted it to feel a bit homely and warm while still being on a complete budget and I think we end up with like $1,500 left over so there is two bedrooms or two double bedrooms uh, well, double beds in them, one bathroom, kitchen with bench seating, there's a flat screen, wall mounted TV and a computer. So it does have a really good selection of items to use for starter sims. Like if you can get a nice big TV in there as well as a computer, that's a pretty good budget starter home IMO in my opinion. So yeah, now the thing about this LP is that it is actually going to be uploaded on my Twitch channel, not here on YouTube. Nobody freak out. I'm not moving to Twitch <laughs> fully or anything like that. But due to the fact that my channel has been hit by demonetization and it continues to be hit by de demonetization, I think we can all agree it's probably a good idea to start putting some of my eggs into another basket as in putting some of my content on another platform. I just feel like I will enjoy starting a fresh LP on a new platform a lot more without worrying about the whole demonetization thing. Because whilst it may seem very black and white to some of you viewers, um, when you're actually going through it, it's not actually just about earning money or not earning money. It's actually quite an emotional thing and a really frustrating and awful thing to go through. So it kind of brings up topics like self-worth. It's like going to work for a day and your boss not paying you. And it's not just like, oh, I didn't get paid today. That sucks. It's more like, well, why? Why is this happening to me? I'm putting in so much work, no matter how hard I work, no matter what I do, nothing's changing or fixing it. So it becomes very emotionally draining. Oh gosh, I am totally blabbering today. <laughs> so yeah, my video, my new LP is going to be on Twitch and a lot of you guys might think, what's Twitch? Ah, uh, this is so annoying. I have to download another app. So it is another app if you watch on your phone or it's just another website. Usually I live stream on Twitch. So I am back to live streaming weekly, twice weekly. I have a schedule, which is in the description down below. So if you want to catch those live streams, um, it's going to be the same time every week. 
and if you click the link, you'll get it in your time zone. So I'm live streaming on there, but it also has the ability to upload videos just like on YouTube. So you can watch those videos anytime you like, and that's how we're going to be doing this LP. It is Let's Play The Sims for Cats and Dogs, completely different to my first one. Uh, starting from the beginning, new characters, all that jazz, exactly the same as it is on YouTube, just published on another platform. So I do encourage you guys to follow me on Twitch, uh, download the app. It's just another little app on your phone. It's a good app and there's a whole heap of great streamers and creators on there. So I hope you guys can help support me and enjoy a little bit of a change. Um, and yeah, I just really, really appreciate that. And of course, as always, we will be having plenty of daily content on YouTube as well. This is my main platform apart from streaming on Twitch. So nobody worry about videos, too many videos moving over there, just one LP. And like I said, this is Cats and Dogs. I did start a Cats and Dogs LP when it was first released and I only got to three parts. That was when the whole YouTube demonetization, my channel not being being told it wasn't appropriate for advertisers or kids to watch. That's when that happened. And to be honest, like really simple, I became emotionally un, like I was not motivated to do that LP with all of that going on. And I just, I don't want to go back to it. I just, it was not a nice time for me. And I want to enjoy the content that I give you guys. So that's what I do. I play games and I love playing games and I laugh and share it with you guys and it's so much fun. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to start it again. And I've got two male characters, like I said, I'm really excited for them. Uh, I had a really lovely time designing them in Creator Sims, so I'll also post that video and you can expect the LP to begin over the next few days. So I'll be sure to like tweet it out and everything. Uh, so yeah, that should be pretty, pretty, pretty good. Uh, what else is news? What else is news? Um, hmm. Parenthood will be coming in the next couple of days. I think we're actually getting towards the end of parenthood, which I know so many of you guys will be like, ah. I know some of you guys will be like, yeah, I wasn't really watching it or I lost interest. Um, but for those of you guys who have been thoroughly enjoying it with me, I think, I think we've got a bit to go, but I reckon we're getting to the end of this. LP or at least this season of the LP. We'll see how we go. Uh, but it's been a really good one. Definitely enjoyed it a lot, which means there will be a place for a new LP uh, on YouTube as well. So that'll be a good, good time. So let me know any of your ideas. Twitter's the easiest way for me to see you guys communicate with me. Um, that's how I see your ideas the easiest. YouTube comments, of course I read them, but there's a lot. <laughs> Twitter, less people use it, so it's just a little bit more direct. So if you have a really great idea, try and tweet me. That's that's probably the best way. Uh, and yeah, we've pretty much finished the house here. I really love all the rustic and dark kind of colors. Uh, very earthy, you know. I love the brick and greenery and these wooden floors from Cats and Dogs is just fantastic. I love them so much. And yeah. It's just, it's just a cute house. I would totally live here. Would you live here? I would live here. I would live here with Mr. Chow Chow. And oh my gosh, I really want to Chow Chow, you guys. I'm looking to adopt a Chow Chow. And uh, there's just none for adoption in Australia or Melbourne. It's so hard to find any. They're such a rare breed. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking. I'm still looking. And it's okay. It's not so bad because I have a few things like I... Still have to finish furnishing this apartment and settling in. And we will be doing some in real life furnishing of my apartment too. So it's kind of like Sims in real life, which is pretty cool. Because you guys know interior design is like our thing here on the channel. Like we love a good furnish. So yes, I'm excited. Uh, I feel like tonight's video is really all over the place and blabbery. I, I'm not really sure why, but maybe I'm just really enthusiastic for a new year. <laughs> I, I That's probably what it is. And here we have the computer. We're going to remove the plant and put that in this bedroom, which I'm going to call the master bedroom. It's a little bit bigger than the other one. And I love the thongs hanging on the wall. I know they're Christmas lights, but I just feel like they can be lights. You know, they're so versatile. They don't have to just be at Christmas time. Uh, so I think they were a great addition to the holiday pack because most of that's just like holiday themes. 
Anyway, here are the screenshots. So this is our little starter home. Let me know what you think. Of course, it's very simple. It's not a fancy build, but I think it's certainly cute. And I think it's kind of funny that it has a chimney and no fireplace. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with the idea that it originally had a fireplace and then they had to knock out the fireplace because it got old and broken or something like that. I don't know. A chimney just makes builds look better. It just makes them look more realistic. I love the exposed brick in the kitchen. I love how a few things are old, like the fridge is a bit old, but then you'll have a new mirror here and more contemporary couches. You know, it's all kind of being put together in a mismatched way, but I think it really works. And this is definitely a house I'm looking forward to renovate. And those are two of the Sims uh, that will be in the new Let's Play. And... Yeah, here's bedroom number one with the thongs on there and the computer. And yeah, it's a pretty light, uh, spacious bedroom with a nice wardrobe. And then the other bedrooms, of course, a little bit smaller, but it still has a small wardrobe as well. And oh, that is a great photo. How did that get in there? <laughs> Oops, the daisies. And the bathroom could probably do with a blind. But hey, if you want to look out to the fields while you're on the dunny, why not? Uh, dunny, is that an Australian term? It's like a pretty distasteful word for toilet. It's, a, it's like a burgundy word. <laughs> Funny to say though. And this is the floor plan. So yeah, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Do subscribe if you haven't already and smack that notification bell to actually be notified when I upload. And um, yeah, comment your, comment your thoughts. Love you guys. I love making content for you and I, I just love it all. I'm so excited for this year. You guys have no idea. <laughs> anyway, you guys. Oh, also check out the live streams and follow me on Twitch for the new LP and we shall have a good time. All right. Love you guys. Bye.